Opponent goes first. Um, dark Ritual. What do I need to draw here? If I draw a second Dark Ritual, then I can play Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Beseech. Sacrificing Bauble to play. So, okay, so this wins with another Dark Ritual or with an offer you can't refuse. So I have, I have seven draws here that win. So that's seven out of fifty-three, right? So uh, it's not bad. Oh, a zero three. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we get. Oh boy. See what I would get. Is this worth playing out? Uh, I, I I guess I'll guess I'll play this out since I have a dark ritual on top. Uh, I wish I had crafted Elish Norn. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Uh, Mistress Bobble. Beseech the Mirror. With Bargain. Sacrificing Mistress Bobble. To play without paying its mana cost. The card Channel. Play that without paying its mana cost. Realm Breaker. Um... Doesn't matter where I get that mana from. Activate for 10. Put one, two, three, four cards onto the battlefield. Opponent has conceded. That Beseech the Mirror means I don't need channel. I just need some Dark Rituals. Let's see if we can seal the deal with a turn one win. Either on the draw or on the play. Opponent doesn't have too much interaction. So. Red-green is a great matchup for silly combo deck. Um, offer you can't refuse on Mishra's Bauble, plus Dark Rituals, four mana. Beseech the Mirror. I just need something to sacrifice. So if I, if I draw any zero mana spell, including Once Upon a Time, then, uh, then I can do this. Or if I draw a channel. So I've got, like... I don't know, 15, 17 hits, something like that. Okay. So play Mana Confluence. Full control. Off uh, Once upon a time for zero. Counter it with the offer you can't refuse. Yes. I have two treasures. I cast this for free. I play Dark Ritual, so I have four mana available. I play Beseech the Mirror with Bargain. Uh, playing four mana. And sacrificing an artifact to play Channel. Without paying its mana cost. And then I play Realm Breaker for 3, activate it for 10, and then put 4 Praetors onto the battlefield, including Shaeldred, which makes opponent sacrifice a creature. 
and then I attack for lethal. Turn one. Aha. Ah, 5% win rate, turn one. This deck has a 5% win rate on turn one. A land plus a zero mana spell, uh, countered by an offer you can't refuse, gets two mana, which can play channel, and then Realm Breaker or grab Realm Breaker from the sideboard with Karn, and that puts a bunch of creatures onto the battlefield that are given haste by Urabrask, and you win. But playing Beseech the Mirror, as, as you saw, you don't even need channel. And uh, this deck has some other nonsense that it can do because of Astral Cornucopia. Using channel's ability, you can get more colored mana, so that if you don't have a win con, but you have Demonic Tutor in hand, well, you use three life to make one black mana, and then you can get a win con from Demonic Tuner. So that's, uh, that's a lot of fun. And uh, there's some other things in, in, the, in the Karn board, more, more ways to make colored mana. Um, and if, you're, if you have a Praetor in hand, you've got a couple of cheap things that can do a, a, a couple extra damage. Uh, Bonesaw can do an extra damage, so sometimes you can get across the 20 damage threshold that way. Uh, so, yeah, this deck, it wins 5% of the time, turn one. Uh, that shouldn't be possible, and it is, and I love it.